Hello, I'm Chris Menard. Microsoft Teams has the new meeting experience out. You have to go and turn this on and it's not as easy as it sounds. So let me run you through how to turn on the new meeting experience and I'm gonna give you six reasons why you wanna do this. So I have Teams pulled up and I haven't turned it on yet. So if I come to my profile picture and go to settings, I'm on the word general. And if you notice, there is the new meeting experience. So by default, if I don't turn that on and I have a meeting, the meeting will start, but it'll take up my Teams window and I can't do anything else in Teams. I can't chat. I can't go to my calendar. I can't go to my Teams channels. So let's go and turn that feature on first. So here are the steps to turn on the new meeting experience. You go to settings, you check it, close this box. Here's where people go wrong. You don't just sign out here by going back to your picture. You need to quit Teams and on a PC or Windows, you do this in the notification area. If you have a Mac, I know you have something similar to the notification area. So I'm in the bottom right corner of my screen. I'm going to right click on the Teams icon. Quit. Don't sign out. Quit. Restart Microsoft Teams. You may have to sign in. I'm not sure. Possibly. I've been in here playing so I don't have to sign in. So now that I'm back in here, immediately go check to see if it's turned on. So I'm going to go to settings and it's already checked. So it worked. So here are the six reasons that I came up with why you want to turn this on. Reason one is if you start a new meeting and I'll do that right now. I want to point out that my new meeting is happening in a separate window. So it pops out in a separate window. This screen right here will also look slightly different. No big deal there, but I'm going to hit join now. So reason one is I've got a new pop out window for my meeting. Reason number two is when this window loads, the meeting toolbar used to be floating around down here on your screen. That was a really bad place for it. Now it is docked up in the top right corner. Reason three is you now have multiple different views you can use with the new meeting experience. So the re third reason is we have large gallery preview. That will show 49 people in your meeting. In case you're wondering why it is grayed out on my screen is I'm in a meeting by myself. But the minute the 10th person comes in here that has their video on, large gallery preview would work. And it'll do that 7x7 seven seven grid. So that's with the 10th person. Together mode is where it shows people in your meeting together. And y'all could be in a cafeteria. Y'all could be um, at some social event. That's together mode. That happens on the 5th person in your meeting with the camera on. Another reason, I believe this is reason five, is focus mode. If someone is showing a slide deck and everyone's video is showing, I can hit focus mode and that will, I will not see anyone else's video. I'll only be focused on what is being presented and I can turn that on and off. And another reason is reason number six, if you want to take meeting notes, they now happen in the meeting notes tab for your meeting, which is a cool feature. Actually, there's another reason I thought about live captions. And I just made a video on this with Christian. If you don't turn on the new meeting experience, you can still see live captions. But the issue is you don't know who's speaking with the new meeting experience. When you turn on live captions, you will know who's speaking. So, and we just made a video on how that works. So there's my reasons for turning on the new meeting experience in Microsoft Teams. Uh, feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you have any questions about this video or about Microsoft Teams, please put them in the comments box below. I hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you.